way, only found in our olive oil, and, and immediately goes to work where your skin needs it the most. Really an... What's that strange light? Well, that is the Fieldsmith solar, pow uh, solar powered spotlights you're looking at. These things are amazing. We've got them down below, down there, and you kind of got them up here too. This kind of gives you an idea of how much light you get. When you look at them like that, you don't see much, but when you see the reflective light, these things are amazing. Totally solar powered, $29.95 for two. Uh, we put them on price break today. I'm buying these, I can't wait to get these. Pete knows I've been trying to get spotlights in the backyard forever, but I didn't want to run the wires back there. These are wireless. They utilize the sun all day, and then when the sun goes down, these pop up and they give you that powerful 200 lumens. That's crazy power in a spotlight times two. Go through really quickly the features before Pete gets out here. So you got a built-in sensor for automatic dust to dawn operation, easy installation, and the best part again, you don't need any skills. You simply stick these in the ground. They got a giant solar panel that sucks up the, the sun all day, and then it powers and energizes that light all night. So these are these are a must have. Anybody that wants to improve a little more security in their yard needs to get these. Here's my man, Peter Kilcullen, to tell hey us about guy, it. Hey, guy, how are you? We both have families. Yes. We both worry about our, you know, our families when we're not around, and we'd like to have a little more light on the property. These give it to us. No, absolutely. And I know a lot of people are just like Guy and I, and you want to add that light. You want to get in a specific area, but maybe it's that area all the way in the front of the house or at the driveway near the street. Right. And you're thinking, how am I going to get power there? Because there, there are big spotlights like this, but you have to run a wire, and then you have to figure out a timer, things like that. Finally, and we, we launched this earlier in the season, and finally you're able to have a solar powered spotlight that really is exactly that it's a true spotlight and look at that without having this on it's much easier to see that we've got four different leds in there each one giving you 50 lumens guy for a total of 200, 200 lumens, 200 lumens. That's a lot. now if you're wondering how bright is 200 lumens i mean your typical flashlight even that that big kind of cool flashlight that you have in the drawer in the kitchen that's typically only going to be about 100 lumens yeah so you took talking about a very bright light a bright light a true spotlight and here's the coolest part right there that solar panel this took Huge. a lot of technology to yeah. get this together because we have to power up or draw enough power from that sun into that solar panel to power panel to charge this up and to give you what you really want a bright bright light that'll run for eight hours every single night and look at that you can go all the way around nothing to do except stick that in the ground and then here's the cool thing you can direct that solar panel where you want oh, it so best. it can get the most sun exposure so you get that long run time and then same thing with the spotlight imagine having a solar spotlight and do some of the things that are so popular in sort of in that landscaping right now what's that guy I love quizzing you. <laughs> you gotta see the look on his face. He's like, you know, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't know no, it was uplighting, right? You knew that. Everybody loves uplighting. Right, so he the knew. first thing I did when I lived in Arizona is I, I said, you know, I have this three story house. I want the lights to go up the house so it looks exactly. pretty. Exactly. You can create so many neat, you know, effects with this lighting. Not only uplighting on the trees here yeah. in Florida, you know, certainly the palm trees, we love to have maybe just a single light up there. Or you can put these behind all the shrubs that you have in the front of your house and just put a splash of light on onto the house, yeah. it looks fantastic. You can create some really cool things. And when you see this at night, you're gonna be blown away that that's a solar powered it, it's, light. It's unbelievable. Normally, you know, when we do solar lights, we do solar uh, landscape lights, which are accent lighting. Very low power, they don't, they don't you know, cause you, you can't have a big giant panel on each one. They have a little one built on top. It's great for just making some effective sort of mood lighting, right. but it's not gonna light up all your property. It's just gonna light up the front of the house. These will actually light up your entire house from the ground up in any area that you need so if you're putting it on you know if you want to get you want to do the whole house you maybe get maybe get two or three sets of these That'll and work them great. around the house the reason the solar panel is so big is because they're spotlights these are not accent lights these are really going to light your property up if you are looking for security if you're looking to make the house glow at night uh you know when you come in at night you don't want it you don't want it to be dark maybe you want to put this in the backyard maybe you want to put this off where your garbage bins are and stuff so you can keep some light there keep the animals out of there you can put them anywhere best part is is what I just said, put them anywhere. And the reason you can do that is because you never have to worry about cords. You never have to put a timer on this thing. Right. As soon as the sun goes down, it knows exactly when to turn on. Dust to dawn, as we say but no trenching, no wiring, no digging, ever. You stick it in the ground, you have instant 
protection, instant spotlight, and there's a reason that that panel is about five times the size of a regular panel on a solar light. It's a spotlight, and, and that makes, I can't wait to try yeah, this. Exactly, and you were right. When you think about the path lighting, and we've, we've yeah. sold so many of these here, and they're great. Those path lights, each light is really only about wow. five or six lumens. Yeah, that's huge. And, and everyone loves the path lights, and they guide you up the path, but now you want to create some real lighting effects. Look at that, you're looking at 200 two lumens. Yeah, when you put the two of them together, it's, wow. it's fantastic. And I like what you were showing a second, so hold that one there, guy. Okay. But if I shine this even back towards you, or we were showing it on that, look at that now, on the front of that display where we have those lights. When I shine that back on there, imagine that's the splash yeah. of light that can be on the front of your house. And we talk about, you can do so I many different do it on angles. This side. Right, you can cross them, you can put the angles, you can put it behind your shrubs. Now you're talking about I mean, look at that. This is that's a huge. Hollywood premiere. Yeah, with, but that's with the a lot. Yeah, but yeah. it's a tremendous amount of light. Look at that. Just if I move back even further, and it's just just that small little crossing pattern of light. Again, this would look so amazing on the front of your house. And then the up lighting as well, where you're able to, you know, have that lighting up or down. Hey, don't forget, I, I, this has that stake to go in the ground. But, guy, you can also <laughs> remove that stake. You could put this on the front of the garage. Maybe you have a, a shed in the backyard. You could mount that on there as well sure. and still get all that power. It is a fantastic, I mean, when you look at that, yeah. the, you know, what happens here is it's the combination of the technology in the solar panel, but then the technology in the LED lights that are in here. That has come so far because previously, if you didn't have LEDs in there, you burn up that power, whatever yeah. amount of power we were able to you know, get from the sun and charge the batteries, it burned out so quickly. But now LEDs are using so much you know, less energy, but they're <laughs> brighter, so you're getting that long runtime, right. eight hours of runtime. So again, you can look at that solar panel, and I'll show you on the back. We even give you an on-off switch. So if I turn this switch off, even if I co cover that solar <laughs> Oh, you did it. So there, it won't come on when I cover the solar panel just like that. So if you wanted to keep them from going on right away, right. you can do that. But now when I switch it and I cover that yeah, solar panel. Yeah, because it could panel, be Halloween and you on. might want to have decorative yeah. lighting out there and you, you don't want do the spotlights it. on. You exactly. can turn that you off. Exactly, you can turn them off. They, listen, guys, these are going very quickly. They're customer pick on HSN.com. Peter, when I first walked out, he said, God, these are extremely popular. They've been doing so well. And I right. said, well, not only that, we got 10 bucks off today and they're on FlexPay. They put them on three flex of nine ninety eight. Go ahead and buy yourself a couple sets on these. These are something I will buy after work today, I'm telling you, because I've got, you know, I have some uh, lights in the back that keep burning out, you know, and they're the old wired lights, the right. ones I didn't replace. They always... I got to replace those stinking bulbs the like, halogens. Every, like every three months, I got to replace those bulbs. They get wet, they burn, they pop. Those halogen bulbs, they were very bright, we yeah. like them, but honestly, if you put this up outside of your shed or your garage, you need to go up there and change those halogen bulbs. The they're the long, skinny yeah. ones, you know, they're 10 bucks every time you go to get a new bulb. I mean, imagine a these. Bulb. They're, they're 10 to $12 per oh, yeah. bulb. Exactly. Yeah, ridiculous. So imagine being able to have these bulbs. These are LEDs. You're talking about thousands and thousands of hours. So these are going to have years, to, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's why we love LEDs. They're going to last. You're not going to have to change them. But then you're going to get a brighter light that uses less energy. So you're getting that long runtime. That's what we want. I mean, we all know that there's no way, if I came out here four or five years ago and said that we have a solar spotlight, it just wouldn't be bright enough. You wouldn't have that long runtime. But the technology is caught up. So now solar can give you exactly the same kind of effects that you wanted from those wired spotlights, but they were too expensive, too difficult to put them exactly where you want. But now you can have them, and you're getting both. So you're getting the two pack. You get two of two them, Two of yeah. these lights. And, and just with two lights, I mean, think about the front of your yard. You have your front door. What you could create maybe on either side of that front door, door with two spotlights is great. If you have our path lights, and so many people love them, we have, we have our color changing path lights, sure. maybe it was an eight pack or a 10 pack, add these and you're gonna create an entirely different look, but it goes perfect with that. Yeah. If you had a landscape lighting designer come to your house, they're gonna recommend path lights, Right. They're gonna recommend some type of spotlight to give that dramatic throw of light either on the house or up light the trees. That's exactly what they're gonna recommend. So if you have the path lights, and I know so many people do, now 
Add these spotlights, a real spotlight with four LEDs giving you 200 lumens that now you're gonna have exactly what you need to create, you know, those beautiful lighting looks. You see them at the really nice hotels or oh, yeah. maybe it's your, your favorite restaurant. That's why they look they, so cool. When they light, when they do landscaping, like they put them up a big tree, like up a palm tree. Perfect. Because it, it shines all the way up the palm, right up into the fronds. If you just use regular landscape lighting, it just, it lights up the ground area and it's still pretty, but it's not gonna light up that front of the house that makes the house glow at night. Uh, and, I, and I've always loved that lighting. You know, I think it makes a house look so beautiful. Oh yeah. Nice thing about this is you're never gonna you're never gonna get a bill for it. You don't pay any energy cost on this. I, and I love that every bit as much as the light itself. But let me let me tell you, you can go to any store and you can buy solar lights. But here's what I'll tell you. A, a, big portion of them are cheapos, all right? If you go out and you think you can buy a solar light for, for you know, like a three or four pack for $10 or $12, they're garbage. They're gonna be poorly made. They're gonna have little tiny solar cells. There's a reason the solar cell on this is so big because it has to power a spotlight. It's gotta be powerful. You've got four separate lights inside there that need to be powered. So you have this great light that you can adjust or this great panel. So wherever your sun is, you can actually adjust it to get the maximum amount of sun sure. up or down. Even even during the day, like, you know, maybe if you're, let's say your house, this is going up on your house, well, the sun is going to be over here, right? Because it's going to be coming in like that. Depending on where your roof line is, you can actually manipulate this so you can get the maximum amount of sun. And then this thing is going to light up for eight hours and not just trickle up this is gonna pop and you're gonna be able to you're gonna light your whole house up with this thing yeah exactly and maybe some people are thinking you know certainly again a few years ago when solar technology just wasn't up to you know our expectations yeah that you would never think about well why am i gonna buy solar lights in september because you know normally they're done by the summertime and you get rid of them remember these are fully weatherproof and waterproof and oh, yeah. here's a couple things i want you to think about we've got a lot of fun holidays coming up certainly even just you know halloween coming sure. up and maybe you're gonna you're gonna put your decorations up for halloween and then we have thanksgiving and certainly christmas and on all of our holidays you can now use these to direct that light onto you know i know that growing up we always had three wreaths on the front of the house yeah. and then we would have spotlights so we had all the extension cords running out onto the front of the lawn and out the front door to get to these lights. Now, you can pop these in the ground with the solar panel. You can direct this exactly where you want it. So maybe you can light up the wreath in front of your house or whatever yeah, kind of decorations nice. you have. Your little it's, nativity scene or whatever. Yeah, exactly. It'd be really cool. Maybe yeah. you're using two of them on the front of that. So think about that, that these are going to be fine out there in all types of weather. They're going to be fine in the rain and they're going to, in the heat and certainly the, the snow. I would always say that uh, they, they, the only time they don't work, and I would say the same with the path lights, is when they're completely buried in snow. Yeah. So if they're covered with snow, snow's gonna Dust melt. Them off. We're going right back yeah, to it. It's gonna charge up and ready to go. Because <laughs> they'll exactly. melt the snow off. Yep. So you, you're gonna love these all year long, throughout the year, and then into the new year, these are gonna be really great. So imagine having that same light all yep. through the, the fall and winter. And you'll never have to worry about burning out the individual bulbs like you do right. with algae. You know the thing about algae too? Did they ever tell you, oh, by the way, uh, you know, put alcohol in your hands and yeah, use don't, gloves don't when you put otherwise, it. yeah, if you touch it, you ruin the light and it pops. Exactly. And that's how they justify paying 12 dollars ridiculous. I have to, you have to put them anymore. on, you have to put them on with, a, with a, like a pair of pliers. That's the only way to do it. It's a nightmare. You're not going to want to deal with that. These, you get that super powered light. Pete, how many lumens again? That's a, 200 that's lumens. a lot of lumens. Yeah, well, we're, right. our sun's going down. flashlight is 50. So this is like four flashlights going up your house. Yeah, I mean, when you see it, and there you can see it and it looks really bright. Now, I will tell you this, no matter what happens and how you're looking at this okay. at home, at it's never going to look as bright as it does in person because the cameras aren't used to this low well, light they level. They filter out a lot right. of the bright but light, But when you too. see this, yeah. and I'll, I'll look at that. Yeah, that's <laughs> crazy. I made the lights even go off by shining it with this that's light because you can see that, how they, they <laughs> react to the light. They're going to go off as I shine onto that solar panel. But you can see how, and I'll, I'll move even a little bit closer, and look at that, how you can create yeah. all those designs, either up or down, however you want to design that light, you can do it. Now remember, I can put these overhead, over the driveway. They create a tremendous amount of light, 200 lumens. They look like they're flashing there every time I flash that light on them. But it is an incredible amount of light, and I know it's hard to believe. Pete, it goes all the way up to the ceiling. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> here, yeah. I'm way in the back here. Now, again, know, when I'm me. looking oh, at you, here. this is lighting you up, guy. But right. the cameras aren't going to see that as well because you're too far back. Right. But it is an amazing amount of light. If I move a little, there you go. Well, here's me. Closer. It gives you an idea how, and you can sort of see it. If, I, you can't tell how, what it's like here in the but ceiling But it's lighting here. up that whole back but, area of the oh, set. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
it goes it goes straight up and it's going way up to the top of the ceiling and that's because these things are super super bright they really are you're you're turning mine off because uh, yours is like the sun but Those yeah, it's really up. bright. It really anyway, is neat. Anyway, you know, it's, and it's really, it, it, Peter's right. It's really hard to tell you how bright they are in a studio. There's no way. Right. So, hey, listen, I'll tell you what. I'll make a deal with you. Buy them, get them home for $9.98 on FlexPay. If they are not what we say they are, you return them. But you're going to put them outside and you're going to be like, those two guys were right, man. This is bright. <laughs> it's true. And you're going to have to do nothing. <laughs> you're just going to get them home and yeah. put them just like that. And then you can direct Easy. that. You know, you'll change it every day if you want, but you'll love these spotlights. At HSN, we have more gifts than ever before. So it's the perfect time to get your HSN card. Save $20 when you apply and are approved. Plus, get extra flex on all the items you love with VIP financing for those larger purchases. Get an additional $10 off your next purchase when you receive your new card in the mail, all with no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or search HSN card at hsn.com. More gifts, more brands, more friends, more merry. For $99.95, you're going to be able to get the foldable steel six-tier bookshelf. If you're not familiar with origami, it is kind of like the art of paper folding. Yeah. And you're able to collapse this. But when you set it up, look at how stylish this is. It looks this good. is actually one of my favorites in the origami line. Yeah. And we're doing it only today. Only today with the five flex payments and with that free shipping and handling. Maybe we should go through colors. Let's do the colors first, yeah, yeah. because there's so, there's so many of them. So the one stylish. that we're going to be demonstrating with as we get into this is the vintage bronze color right mm -hmm. here okay and it's a really nice shade of brown little flex of gold in this i think you're going to really like this guy okay i'm going to pull this out of the way so we can see the other ones back here let's start down here this is the emerald that we're looking at right here really nice shade of green brand new this year mm -hmm. okay oh do you hear we, that yeah we have about 500 left if you want wow. it in the emerald but right? this is this is the problem this is the turquoise a uh, final call now on the turquoise already mm -hmm. okay how many do you have in the turquoise then all right. Oh, we're showing the turquoise is sold out. This, this is, is actually turquoise. Okay. Well, uh, this one is sold out. We need okay. the teal. We need the teal one, we not the turquoise. We need the teal turquoise. out here. So okay. we will show you the teal. If you we'll want the teal, that. I have two dozen left in okay. the teal. This right. one, no debate, white. White. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's the white. Cranberry, which we we so rarely have the cranberry color in here. Almost never. Almost never. Do you know, I like Beautiful. it. So many folks go crazy for the red. And this is just like a more muted red, in my mm -hmm. opinion. I mean, I, I love the cranberry color in this one. Plus, Thanksgiving's right around the corner. Hey. You know, anything, <laughs> that has, anything that has a name of food, I like anything, it already. I'm okay, in. Okay, I'm cranberry. Hungry. All right. <laughs> Behind us, in the back right there, we have the platinum color. And that's the one that has is silver. Okay, next to that is sage, the sage green, also very new. And then we have black on the end there. So that's the array of colors that we have here. We'll get that teal one out here for everybody in a minute. Now, let me show you about, well, take a look at the video right here and you can see how easy this is to quote unquote assemble. I don't like to use the word assemble because to be honest with you, you're not really assembling anything when you get your origami. I mean, it's more or less set up uh, more than anything. But you know, the thing about this bookshelf, Alice, is that this is a completely different way of thinking when it comes to furniture. We're used to having a bookshelf that's just a square rectangle that you put together out of particle board usually. Right. Um, and, and that's it. It doesn't have any really flair to it. There's no design feature, especially at this price point but with origami you're getting powder coated steel which means that you could use these indoors outdoors uh, in environments where maybe you wouldn't put a traditional bookshelf number mm -hmm. one means they're going to last you a very long time and the other thing I'm going to show you right here is watch this okay. when you get this at home okay it's going to be flat packed in a box just like that okay so it comes to you pretty much perfectly flat it's about four inches wide when you get it home to right. open it and you know, there's no assembly you just grab the sides like that i'm going to spin around the back so you can see the toggle right here the world famous origami patented toggle you thread that through you push down and the whole rack sits down now if i pick this up now this entire rack is stable that's amazing considering we just did one little toggle then you just flip the top over now the impetus for making this was that our customers came to us and they said you know what can you make me, I love my origami, I love mm -hmm. the, the easy mm -hmm. assembly on this thing and, and how much weight this will hold. 
can you make me an origami that's more uh, going to be more friendly for the uh, footprint in my house? Right. Something's going to be a little bit smaller. Okay, mm -hmm. so we made this one, and it's about 22 inches deep on the shelves this way, lengthwise. It's about 11 inches going that way, so it does have a smaller footprint. But we did a couple things different. For instance, you're looking at the side right here, this lattice work on the side. That's a design cue that we put on here, but it's also functional because it stops the books from falling off. Very clever. Kind of a big deal. Mm -hmm. Kind of a big deal. If you look at the shelves, we don't have the normal wire shelves you see in origami. What we have instead are metal shelves that are perforated with little holes. Well, those perforations are there for a reason. They allow airflow through here. They stop your tiny um, tchotchkes and things from falling through, which is kind of a big deal. Or if you want to use this as a plant shelf, it's going to allow water drainage. So we did all those things. Now, there are six shelves on this. So actually, the weird thing is this has a, just about the same number of linear feet of storage as our large rack. Mm -hmm. But we added two more shelves to it, so that's how we're getting to that number, okay? It's like about 12 linear feet of storage on this. Um, but when you look at this guy right here, you see the six shelves. Right at the bottom, we have these feet that are on here. We call these leveling feet, okay? So if this thing is a little wobbly, like this guy is, I can go down here to this foot, and I can rotate this clockwise, and that foot's going to come down. Or I rotate it counterclockwise, and it goes back up again. Okay. They need that at every dining table, every, at every restaurant. It's amazing to I me was, that, that, that they don't have that. I was out at dinner the other night, and that thing was so wobbly, I thought it was going to go nuts. No, I know, exactly. You know, so that's why they made sugar <laughs> The old packets. matchbook. But right. so, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it used to be matchbooks. With this, you don't have to worry about it. But here's the weird thing about this. Not the weird thing, the interesting thing. Mm -hmm. um, with the feet on, as you see right here, let's say that your floor is a little uneven, and you've got to level it out. We recommend 50 pounds on each shelf. 50 pounds on per, each on, shelf. That, that's, that's a impressive. 300 yeah. pound weight capacity wow. on this bookshelf. But let's say your floor is perfectly level. Maybe you're lucky enough to have like a nice polished concrete floor or something. Then you can get away without the leveling feet, in which case then you can go up to 70 pounds on each one of these six shelves. And that increases your weight capacity to 420 pounds total for this rack. And the, I think the, the, the crazy part about it yes. is it is so lightweight. It is lightweight. I mean, literally, Isn't you it? can you can pick this up. You can move it from room to room if you want to. Yeah. So, girls, you don't need any guys. You know, you, you don't, don't need a need... husband and you don't need a handyman. Wow, what a concept! <laughs> <laughs> I love all of that. I just rather do it myself. You know, yeah. I don't want to have to wait and, and promise favors or write a check. You know, for somebody to to move a rack from here to here. Because I will tell you, we call this the bookshelf. Seriously kitchen shelf oh yeah this in my kitchen oh, yeah. because i have all of my oh my gosh your Did kitchen you electrics your mixing bowls your jeffrey spices. zakarian was here yesterday yeah. with his sous vide stick i mean there's so many things Love that you're going to be able to put on here whether it's a kitchen this is great in the bathroom this is great in a dorm room this is great in your garage this is great outside with your plants on it oh, because yeah. then if you want to move the plants in when it starts to get a little bit cold which it will very very soon then you can just move this whole thing in oh yeah because it's so lightweight. So the colors that we have, um, should we pull up some of these colors? Or um, they're getting it with uh, over here. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, so the colors that we have available, we have there. You go. there. Um, so you have it available in that. Uh, that's the platinum. Vintage, okay, the platinum, platinum, sage, and black are the three that are in the back. I love that black. And then behind the one I've been demonstrating to you is the antique uh, bronze. Mm -hmm. And then if you look across the back here, we've got the emerald behind uh, to my uh, right. Then we've got the white, and then we have the cranberry that Alice is standing next to over there. It's but you know what's interesting beautiful. about these? If we walk around a little bit, oh, wow, vintage, antique bronze. Yeah, vintage bronze vintage. is selling the fastest right now. So if you're interested in that, you might want to make that yeah. choice. Since April, I think. How long has it been? It has been months and months and months. Yeah, I can't even remember been, last time I saw this. we've been able to bring you this, we just yeah. got it back in stock, which is why we have uh, most of the colors available. Uh, in the teal, is that the teal? All right, come on out. We wanted to show you the teal because we have, I think, <laughs> Here, let two, me go get this. No, right. It's just floating right onto the set. Here's the teal. <laughs> That's that how beautiful? things happen here. Okay, so we have, I think, two dozen of these in the teal. Is that right? Gosh, this is gorgeous. Yeah, it's a, yeah. it's a really nice shade. I love this one, too. And you know what? If we go through some of the uses here, now remember, with origami, you're only limited by your imagination. So you, you can do whatever you want with yours once you get it home. But just to give you a couple ideas, kind of get the juices flowing a little bit. The one right here, the cranberry, for the laundry room, mm -hmm. I, before you had that laundry car with Alexandra, okay? Um, you know, this is a great add to a laundry room. Because let's face it, in, in, yeah, in the laundry rooms, they never, or if you want to relax, in laundry rooms, they never have. <laughs> Word to live by. 
<laughs> word still by, or word. Only uh, but they never have enough storage space in a laundry room. There just mm -hmm. there never is. Because this is powder-coated steel, you don't need to worry about the detergents if they get on there, or if there's bleaches or anything to get on this. You know what I mean? It's not gonna right. hurt that powder coating. And then you get a nice space to keep all your supplies and everything on there. And it, because of the smaller footprint, It'll work in that room. How stylish is this? Yeah. Do not do that plastic thing. It's awful. And you know, then then you've got the chrome things that, that they have, right? How expensive are those crazy things? This is gonna be on five flex payment only today. Do you get the five flex payments? You get it home for less than $20. We would love to hear from you if you own this. Then tell us how you origami because everybody's got their own way. Everybody's got their own origami idea and we love that. But this is the one that you asked for. This is the one that was kind of de designed by you yeah. because you wanted something that fit the spaces a little bit better, but that was a little bit more stylish. You get your style now, you get your functionality. Everything. You get, you know, basically something that's gonna last virtually forever because yeah. it's it's powder coated steel. There's nothing that's going to flake on this, nothing that's oh, gonna no. chip on it. Completely collapses when you want it to. The colors are here for the moment, but that teal is already on last call now. Yeah, no it is. And now for the crafters out there, these are fantastic. We, got the, we have so much uh, origami in, in my wife's crafts room right now. I mean, and she uses the large racks to store her craft stuff on. She's got one of the small ones with a cricket on it. I mean, she's just got little pieces mm -hmm. all over the place. But it really adds a tremendous amount of space, and it's so easy. And I think that's the biggest part of this, is that instead of this being like an hour, two hours, three hour commitment to build a piece of furniture, you take this out of the box, and it is set up in moments. And I don't care what your skill level is. It could be zero. You don't have to have any skill whatsoever. You can set up your origami yourself. It is that simple to do. And then you know that you've got, listen to this. Yeah. I mean, it's steel. So you know that you've got something that's going to last and last and last. And if you're a nomad, a gypsy of sorts, you know, that you move a lot, this is the furniture for you. Because you, there are no moving trucks. There are no men coming into your apartment and moving things. You don't need that. This stuff, you break it down, throw it in the trunk of the car, the back of the SUV, and take it with you wherever you go. Now, for the bathroom, so many bathrooms out there don't have linen closets, don't have a closet to keep the extra soaps mm -hmm. and shampoos and all that stuff. This is the best way to add shelving to a bathroom. People, I, I have a friend that had a white particle board piece in their bathroom, okay? Mm -hmm. With all the steam and everything from the shower, you should have seen after about six months, it started to bubble and all the, uh, the, uh, the coating on it started to come off. So you can see what the particle board really is. I mean, it's just like sawdust that's glued together. And you start to see that. With this, because it's powder coated steel, you don't need to worry about about humidity. You don't need to worry about salt air. You don't, none of that stuff is going to affect this. And what's nice about it, especially if you have a pedestal sink in your bathroom with like no cabinets underneath, mm -hmm. this is perfect for you to have in there. Look at everything we've got on here. Extra toilet paper. This is an entire bin. Oh my gosh, that's heavy. It's an entire bin <laughs> full of soaps right here. Extra soaps and things. I mean, just as you look down here, the shampoos, your, your, you know, all your supplies can be right there, especially if you have a guest bathroom. It's perfect You know what? Only origami could make toilet paper look good. That's okay? right. Look at that. That's right. It looks stylish, doesn't it? it? This, this could be in any magazine, and you go, wow, that really looks great. And it's great. for the bath. And it That's is. how I know. They put that there for me. <laughs> right. So that I can look at this and go, like, oh, this is the one for the bathroom, because it exactly. says bath. Exactly. But do you, with all of these different shelves, <laughs> you can go high. You use yes. that vertical space. But love the way that this is a little bit more narrow. Love that it's a little bit, you know, skinnier, so that you can, if you want more, then just put them right next to each other. They sit flush against each other, so you don't even have to worry about that. But this is that perfect piece, whether it's in the kitchen, the bathroom, whether it's whether you actually use it as a bookshelf, which for some reason we have named it a bookshelf, mostly because on the sides you can see here, yep. so the books don't fall out. But anything you want to use it for, a baby's room. I have a friend who's um, having a baby, whose uh, daughter's having a baby. And it's so exciting, you know, to be able to put the little stuffed animals in the music box oh, yeah. and everything else. But the colors add that fun element. Origami gives you something that frankly, if you start with the baby, with the origami, it'll yeah. take them all the way through college oh, yeah. and beyond. Yeah, I, you know, I always tell the story. I've got origami pieces that I got when we very first started selling this, and I think it's been six years now. I, it's been a long time since remember. we started. They um, look just see, as good. See, I can remember th that we haven't sold this for a few months. Yes, but, but like six when we started. Years? Oh, come on. <laughs> That's the, de too much. the decades are blending together here. But I mean, it's been, you know, I, the ones I have that I've had for years now look just as good as the brand new ones that are sitting right here in front of exactly. us. Exactly. Why? Because of that powder coating they put on these. Powder coating isn't painting, just so you understand. It's not something you slap on and wait for it to dry. It's it's bonded using electricity to the metal itself. So it's really hard to get it off of there. You know, 
Can you scratch it off? Yeah, if you, if you really try hard enough, you could. But it's going to be resistant to almost any kind of scratching, chipping, or corrosion. Absolutely. Yeah. And let's go to New York and say oh, cool. hello to Antoinette, who is calling in. Antoinette, you have the most beautiful name. Thank you. Now, I understand that you own this item from Origami. Is that right? I own eight of them, and oh. I just ordered two more today. Oh I love, gosh. love, love them. <laughs> wow. Well, Thank I, you. I, I think that you are in our Origami Obsession Club. <laughs> which well, I, I also have... <laughs> I have nine of the larger ones as well. Oh, oh wow. there we go. Oh, so it's more like you have like 17? I just love them. They, you know, wow. they're so easy to set up. No tools, no nothing. Yeah. Uh, I have the, the large ones in my garage for storage. Mm -hmm. And I have uh, the bookshelves all over the house. Bathroom supplies, kitchen supplies, books, mm -hmm. of course. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, just the storage for the closet even. It's wonderful. And what do you like about this one in particular? Don't you love the size of this one? The size is perfect, and yeah. I love the grill work on the end. Mm -hmm. Nothing falls out. Uh, they're just the perfect, perfect piece. And uh, sturdy, they hold a lot, and just so simple to put together. There's nothing to do. You know, yeah. I, just, I just love them. Oh, wonderful. Well, yeah, we love, love you that. for shopping with us and for sharing that testimonial. That's great. Tell me one more time now. How many, how many origamis do you have total? 17, and I just ordered two more. <laughs> 19! <laughs> wow. Very nice. We, we, I think we need like a frequent yeah. origami card yeah, or we something, do. right? A punch card of some I sort. Love that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I might suggest that. That'd be a I good idea. Good, yeah. <laughs> Antoinette, thank you so much yeah, for shopping you, with Internet. us. Enjoy your, your brand new origamis as well as the 17 that she owns already. She's going to break into 20 before oh, yeah. you know it. Well, but you know what? I get what she's saying. I, re I really right. do because watch this real In quick. In every room virtually. You know, watch how quickly I can break this down so if I'm moving or I want to move it to a different location in the house it's that simple to do and then to set it up I'm not going to turn it around this time but just so you can see I do that one toggle in the back I flip this over that's all you're going to have to do when you set this up so you want to talk about instant gratification this is the instant gratification furniture you set this up in seconds and you're good to go This is the HSN famous world exclusive $2 light bulb that lasts for nine years, that runs for 90 cents a year in actual energy costs and truly belongs in a healthy home show. Because I'll tell you what, a well-lit home is a home that nobody falls. A well-lit home is a home that is less likely to be vandalized and burglarized. A well-lit home is a home where you can see the dust, the dirt and get it cleaned up simpler and easier than ever before. Now, that being said, this is an exclusive 20-pack bucket. The average American home has 40 light bulbs in it. They are durable. They can fall. They don't shatter. They don't break. And they last for nine years, each and every single one of them. So they will save money hand over fist. You'll never worry about shattering or safety issues. Now, we've sold over 40,000 of our famous light bulb buckets this year and it's actually in the last three months. There are 3,000 left for the country ever to be offered in existence, ever. It's last chance grab, it's last chance to get them, save money on your energy bills, save, put money back in your pocket, have a safer, longer lasting light bulb, and quite frankly, a healthier home because you can leave the lights on and Edna won't trip. Absolutely. You can see the dirt and clean it up. <laughs> it is a truly phenomenal product for so many reasons. It is, and even at three hours a day, less than a penny on your energy bill to run this light bulb. It's incredible. And the great thing about this is, like Brett mentioned, it's gonna last nine years. Years. So many of us for so many years have been enjoying this type of light. It's that incandescent bulb. You know, you give it a little shake and it's broken. This one, you can shake it as much as you want. It is truly is the world's most durable light bulb. But this one uses 60 watts of power. This only uses 7.5. Yes, that's 80% less energy. So here's the thing. When you have, the average house has 40 lights in it. Mm -hmm. If you have a traditional 40 of these lights, your incandescent light bulbs, that your average bill is about $500 every single year. When you switch over to Lighting Science today, yes, a $2 bulb, it's gonna go from $500 down to $100, so four, $400. $400 in savings for $40. And Joe's not talking about the replacement cost of bulbs. We'd have no. to add that in 
in. Mm -hmm. We'd have to worry about the ones that shatter. We'd have to worry about the ones that break when you're trying to put it in. We'd have to worry about the ones with the loose filaments in them. They also produce less heat. So what about the increase to your air conditioning bill right now in you're the exactly summer months? Right. These are cool, they're safe, they're convenient, and it is your family bucket. Now, if you've bought these before, if you have replaced every light in your home and are already saving money, you have now eight minutes to call and share your testimonial because we have the final buckets in existence. Now, I know what you're all thinking. Oh, LED, I don't know. Is it that bluish white light? Are they dimmable? You know, why have I been so frustrated with alternatives in the past? There is absolutely no drawbacks or setbacks with these. It looks beautiful, you can't tell the difference. It is dimmable, it is cool to the touch, and think about all the places where bulbs are breaking all the time. The garage door, door where it's, you know. The vibration, the vibration yeah, when it opens and moving, it up. The work lights that you drop and they break. Safer, better, more energy efficient, money savings, and allow you to keep your home illuminated. You know, Nancy Grace taught us, the FBI told her you wanna keep your kids safe, keep lights on at all times, nobody will come near your door. You're exactly right, and this truly is the world's most durable light bulb. You saw me hit this with the tennis racket. Now I put it in my mechanics light and it's still working perfectly. I can bang it, I can drop it. I have these in so many places throughout my house and nobody knows that it is an LED light bulb that is saving me a tremendous amount of money. Cause I know you're probably thinking, oh, I would love to save $400 a year just by switching over a light bulb. But does it look identical to your existing incandescent? Absolutely. Cause you see two lamps that are right here. You can't tell which one is LED and which one is your incandescent. There's no way you're going to be able to know until I actually remove the shade and can see that this is the one that's 200 degrees. I can't even touch. My daughter actually has a little mini oven. She makes brownies off the heat that comes off of that one. This is your durable that yeah, is room temperature. The, the government wants you to get rid of these. They're increasing your energy bill. They're increasing the heat. It'll burn the cat's tail. It'll burn right. the kid's hands. This, this you can knock over the bulb itself. Knock over the lamp. You won't be replacing the bulb. And look at the light, Brett. When you see, when you put the shades back on there, that incandescent is just like the a incandescent room looks better. Top, where the LED it fills up the entire the, the shade. The LED looks better. The it looks is, a million it looks times better. Beautiful. It looks more natural. Okay, so the 200 that you see sold, that's here. That's in the last couple of minutes. Uh, we are talking now maybe 2,500 left in existence. I know it sounds like a big number, my friends, but in three months, we've sold 40,000 of these whole home light bulb buckets. They don't exist anywhere else in retail. They are never available again after we sell every single last one of them out. Lighting Science is not doing another one of these 20 pack deals. You wanna talk about putting money back in your pocket, great. But you wanna talk about a healthier home. A well-lit home means grandma won't trip. A well-lit home means you'll see the dirt, the grime, the debris, the dust, you'll clean it up. A well-lit home, a home where you can leave the lights on all day and all night because they're so energy efficient, is a home that is less likely to be burglarized, vandalized, broken into during the holiday season. A healthy home should be a safe home, should be an energy efficient home, and that that's what these bulbs are all about. And break it down, my friends. $2 a bulb, 90 cents in energy costs per year. That is less than one penny a day. They pay for themselves, they put money back in your pocket within the first couple of months, and then they say, no more arguing about turn the lights off, turn the right. lights off, turn the lights off, and they're not like so many of the alternatives out there we've seen. Right, well, so many of us, we love these lights, we've been buying them, but an incandescent, it costs about a dollar, but it only lasts about a year. This is nine years worth of incandescence. That's nine dollars a bulb, or one two dollar light bulb today. Yes, when you switch out your light, you don't have to change the light again until to the year 2026. So yes, it's gonna cost you just $2 today where each one of these costs you one, but that's nine trips. You have to go back and forth to the hardware store. Nine times you have to go up and down that ladder. Nine times you have to ask your husband to change that bulb where you switch over to lighting science, which gives you the exact same light, but it only costs you $2 a bulb. Now you can buy this light bulb out there in the rest of the space. It's $5 a bulb. If you see this out there in the retail world, only HSN has it for $2 a bulb bulb it's incredible hold on let's just say that one more time what is it everywhere else five dollars per bulb and what is it and here at hsn two dollars
for the last chance ever. Mm -hmm. Over 40,000 sold. We are not limiting quantities. The average American household has 40 light bulbs in it. That would be two buckets. You'd be talking about spending more than triple that price to buy it out in retail if you could find it. And that's before we talk about the energy savings, the safety features, the lack of shattering, the less worries and headaches and hassles, not to mention the increase in your energy costs. They are dimmable. They are cool to the touch. They are safer. It's the right time to buy them. We'll We'll never be able to do this deal again. We own every $2 a bulb bucket that exists in the entire world. We've sold over 40,000 of them, and we're down to final quantities and supplies for you today. If you have a second home, if you have rental properties, if you're just looking to lower your monthly bills, your monthly expenditures. There has never been a more affordable way to spend a little bit of money and save a whole lot of money mm -hmm. year after year after year after year. Join over 500 callers, although quite frankly, I'm guessing that's probably 200 callers that have bought two, <laughs> three, four sets at a time. The average home has 40, that'd be two, two buckets. You'd be good to go for close to a decade of lighting in your home. And when you switch over today, yes, it's gonna be an LED bulb, but it looks identical yep. to your existing light that you have. So you're not gonna be able to tell which one is a lighting, so which one is your LED, which one is your incandescent. You can put these in your night lamps, you can put these in your overhead, you can put these in your ceiling fans. That light is gonna be not only identical in color, but it's gonna be more even light. Cause this one right here is the dead giveaway. See how the lights just kind of lit across the top of that shade? That's that incandescent, that's two, 200 degrees. This is your lighting science, which is room temperature. Do you ever cook when we're in the kitchen? We have five or six lights on. It's so hot because you just added another thousand degrees just from the lights. With this, whatever the temperatures of your house, that's going to be the temperature of the bulb. And you can put these on even the fancy lights that have dimmer switches because even at $2 a bulb, this still has dimmable capabilities built into it. That is a very expensive LED technology that is in here, but you're you're getting these from Lighting Science, a company that's been around for over three decades. They have over 300 patents on LED technology alone. They even developed an LED light bulb for NASA that's actually circling in the space station right now. So you're getting amazing company with amazing quality. And I mean, as silly as it sounds, the bucket is genius. I love the it's bucket. It's not the thin little paper that they right. give bulbs away in. It's insane. <laughs> How are they lasting? But I want you to notice what's on the bucket is a government approved mm -hmm. label. Do you see this? That's 90 cents in your yearly Less than a penny a day. Cost. Less than a dollar a year in your energy costs. There is no product in the world that costs less than a dollar a year in consumption cost. And you, my friends, get 20 of them today. Free shipping, three flexible payments, less than $2 a bulb. They're $5 everywhere else. They replace $9 worth of incandescence. Look, it's a lot of math that equals a lot of savings at the end of the day. And the thing is, you go to a store, there's so much confusion. Yeah. It's no longer, let's just go get a 60 watt bulb. It's like, why do they have all these different types of LEDs? I have one here that's 25 dollars one that's 17 dollars and the one that we're selling today is a two dollar led light bulb and when you change your light bulb you don't have to change it again until the year 2026 and it'll save you over 400 years in savings just by switching your light bulbs so i do just want to remind everybody over 40,000 sold the best value you'll find anywhere in america why a healthy home more lights less tripping can see the dirt can clean it up Absolutely. saves you money having Tons them all on <laughs> less burglaries less vandalisms it, it's it's a no-brainer, if I dare say so myself. Final supplies in existence at less than 50% of the cost of what you'd find anywhere else. We've got the over-the-door organizer in all their beautiful Havel textiles and colors. Of course, solids available, coral, gray, and indigo. And then we have the Summit, which has that cool kind of chevron arrow design. We've got the Snowdrop and the Palm, item 546027. 24 pockets on this guy. Really, be, it's like such a smart solution. Well, no, thank you. Because we think so. Because we've used them in so many different ways. I mean, to be honest, I always used this kind of shape thing for yeah. shoes. Right. Until we did our own. And my world has been expanded by this. 
Um, Catherine's going to show I us. Think, I think everybody by default no, thinks the, shoes. No, right? no, no by default, this is, this, sure. is the, this is the Catherine pick of okay. the day. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if I have to put it out there. Um, because I have these on almost every door in my house. So I mean, that's kind of shameful to say, but I'm proud of it because it just made my it's changed my life. And they're so cute. They are so cute, but they also are just a life changer. So this is the simple way to do it. You have all your shoes. You can do, in, with flip-flops, you can do two pairs in one pocket. You can really, really maximize the space. This is the one done totally in the cute palm. I love the color. But what we love is to just kind of think outside the box about other ways you can use it, which I'm going to spin this around. Ooh, we got you working already doing the heavy lifting. I know. Yeah. <laughs> This is my favorite way. Um, I have a teeny tiny oh um, gosh, utility closet that. that has my stack of a washer and dryer in it. And on the back door, I have all my um, sheets, my little, my that. little um, detergent things, all amazing? my cleaning supplies in, in it. That. And it looks so it looks so much nicer than having it like under your sink, where you know if you have small children, you don't want to have that. You want to have it up so you can so you can have it safe. Oh. Um, but this is a great way to do it, and it's at, at, totally at your fingertips. I told Susan yesterday that I was doing some laundry and. You know, when you clean out your um, your lint, lint trap, lint trap, and I have one little pocket that I keep for my lint that I and I clean out once a week. That. It's like my little it trash so bin. <laughs> it's my trash bin. <laughs> like, and I'm sure my mother would be like, "Well, change your change it every time. It's gonna ruin your machine if you don't change your lint." Of but I was like, "But so I, every time I clean it out and I put it in Is my little thing." A, should we talk about this? Is there a reason you're saving your lint, my friend? Or no, <laughs> no, I'm not a collector. Are you starting I'm a, a fire anywhere? <laughs> That's amazing. I know, it's like a but you, get, but you know what's nice is that, all joking aside, you get 24 <laughs> pockets, so you could use one for lint if you wanted to. But I didn't even think about it for cleaning supplies because I automatically thought shoes. But now, you know, just like your other origami products, you're limited to your own imagination. So think about, you know, your yarns, your knitting supplies. Absolutely. I mean, and 100 And the pockets are very generous. I mean, a lot of shoe bags are, or, or things like this are very narrow, and so you can only really get one little eel shoe in there. So... These actually fit larger size shoes. And who they, wears eel shoes any, well, anyway? Oh, our no. feet have gotten <laughs> much wider. <laughs> <I know. laughs> but now even like some of the largest size you know, little squirt, bottles. Yeah, bottles will totally fit. And yeah. brushes and whatnot. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, because I just saw you had a big jumbo bottle in here. Yes. So, you know, you really can get some stuff in here and really make it useful because what, what good are 24 pockets if we can't fit anything well, in Well, you them? know, I used, I actually have this on the back of my bathroom door in the studio and I have my this thick bottle of bleach wipes. Sure. And they fit. Yeah. And you know, the other thing is, we were talking about this, the plug, all the adapters and all the, um, all of the different cords you that know, we have. You know what I was thinking about media. too? Imagine uh, if you're an artist as well, you know, your art supplies, your paint brushes, yes, you know, uh, uh, if you are, if you do have teenage daughters or if you are a beauty junkie, the way we are here at HSN, imagine, you know, your hair dryers, your flat irons, your All brushes. The brushes. I mean, what a smart thing. And then we're using up that space that's often neglected. You actually could probably declutter all your drawers if you just use that dead space. We were talking about that on the airplane of all the different brushes you know I've cut my hair I've had long hair and I have those big rollout brushes and all those sure. things that I don't want to you know because no, I go you're up not and gonna down toss them. no so, but you can put them in the areas you're not reaching all the time yeah, yeah or like you're saying under your sink you know you go under your sink and you're like what is this mess you know for for people that are you know space challenged of course this is a no-brainer you know you're using dead space that is never used and now you've got a wonderful solution but for the everyday person that actually does have space you you still be surprised. You don't really know how much stuff you got <laughs> until you have to move or pack it somewhere, right? And then you're Absolutely. like, how much junk do I really have? This is a wonderful way to clean the clutter and put things away. 24 pockets, a lot of pockets. And you do yes. get the door hooks in there, so you do get the three hooks included. It, you literally pop them on the hooks, Put it on the door. Now, and if you want gray, final 50. I'm sorry to interrupt, Susan, oh, but we're getting know. very limited on that solid gray color. Erin, which would be the per the first pattern to go? Because I was, I was surprised to... I've got the final 800 of these, you guys, and the palm uh, in that indigo blue with the white. Final 100 away. left in the palm. Which, you know, we're here we are. Well, and the yeah, palm is also, the also, the palm can also be unisex. It's yeah. blue, it's not, it does have a botanical feel to it, but it's not very girly. Yeah. Um, which we think is really nice. It's very wavy. It could be almost like a, you know, beachy feel. Well, so I it feel feels like really that good. with all the patterns, to be honest, they are great to be using for, you know, you're, you're not 
like me, I have pink rooms in my house that I had to have a discussion with my husband about. But, you know, the this. coral, eat, bring it on. Yeah. It's so great, you know, to even have this cute coral pop right behind your door. I, I, I gotta tell nice you surprise. too. You know, it's it's so hard, you know, to, you know, life is complicated enough and yes. we're stressed enough. When you get to add pretty color and pretty textiles to your home, you know, and really the, these things, I know it sounds silly, but they put a smile on your face. Listen, Listen, right? It's money well spent. Well, and you know, Leslie, speaking of, we've talked about that, uh, you know, silliness, but we're talking about your home. Yep. You know, in all it's seriousness, your sanctuary. it is your sanctuary. It, you know, it does. It makes me be able to go to my job and work when I have everything organized. I know that I don't have to run in and be, you know, Oh, I have to go clean up my dishes mm -hmm. and do all this stuff when I'm trying to put my mind in something else. Mm -hmm. And I would do feel like it. everybody else in my house, all the mm -hmm. little people and the big people, are much more peaceful because of it. So I, I take that seriously. I agree. If your home is neat and clutter-free, that's the way your mind tends to be, you know? So Wonderful. give your mind that space and put all that stuff away, the knickknacks. And hey, if you want to just use it for shoes, phenomenal for shoes as well. The appraised values you see at HSN are set by independent, professionally certified appraisers. They determine, as closely as possible, the approximate retail cost of replacing or recreating the item, not the possible sell or purchase price. Because subjective estimates and judgments are involved, appraisals may vary by as much as 25%. Call your customer service rep for more information. I once had an ant parade across my dining room floor. They just kept coming. I wish I would have had these. It's Bell & Howell's Ultrasonic Pest Repeller. This is the eight pack for $36.95. So you're getting eight of these. This comes down to just $4 and change per piece. A small price to pay to really get rid of those pests, annoy them like crazy and drive them away. Here he is in our studio. I'm going to call him the exterminator, the terminator, <laughs> Lou Caputo, because uh, you're all business when it comes to those all pests. Okay, but here's Hi, the Lou. thing. Hi, Lou. Hi, how are good you? Good to see you. Happy good, Monday. Good to be here. When you said annoying, <laughs> I thought you were going to say it was me. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so these Bell & Howell pest repels, if you've never seen them before, they use science to rid your home of pests. And by that, I mean you don't trap anything. You don't kill anything. You, you don't have to put any poisons out. What you do is you plug these in, they're plug and play, and as soon as you plug them in, they start working. And the way they use, uh, do it is by using sound waves, ultrasonic sound waves. So basically they're just a sound wave that it's a higher frequency than human beings can hear. But your, you, your kids won't hear it, your pets won't hear it. These guys will though. Roaches, rats, mice, ants, spiders, they're all going to hear these sounds and they're gonna run away. And you see what happens there. When you plug them in, those sound waves, I mean, since they're sound, they're going to echo off of the walls. So yeah. as they echo, they crisscross and they, they create what I like to call a force field in the room. And it just makes all the pests just want to scurry away. Wow. Easy? And we can't hear it. Can't hear it. I, I mean, I've got them in my bedroom and okay. I'm a light sleeper and I do not even know that Dogs they're there. Dogs don't nope, hear it. They cats? have no idea. They have no wow. idea that any of this. And this is all third party laboratory tested, by the way. So that's why you're only ever going to hear us say rats, mice, ants, roaches and spiders. We don't talk about any other things that these might work on because these are the five things on which we've had them tested. And this is the time of year. They are coming inside. Oh boy. Yeah, <laughs> they're they like are. they're looking for their winter home. Yeah, I've, I've lived in a lot of cold climates from Colorado to Minnesota to New York I can I can say I've had every single one of those rodents and pests inside my house oh, sure. or apartment at one time and it doesn't matter how clean of a home you have not at all uh, you cannot control you know what's funny about that is the it, wilderness no you can't no <laughs> oh, and, and, and I always tell people and I'm kind of half kidding when I say this but it's true there's two types of people in the world people who have had a pest problem and people who are going to have a pest problem it's just a fact of life yeah. because you're right they want somewhere in the winter time the rats and the mice want somewhere to go they need some place to go where there's food and water and shelter and warmth okay mm -hmm. in the in the summertime it's it's the ants and it's the roaches and it's the spiders well the spiders pretty much all year round okay now I'm gonna show you something very interesting all right I've got okay. a I've, I've got what I call the table of death Okay, uh -oh. um, and I keep all so these disgusting. things on this table. It kind of is. For instance, these are some of the products 
that you can buy uh, when you have an ant problem in your house. And there's sprays and bombs and traps and all kinds of things. And they work on the ants, but only on the ants, okay? okay. And as you use them up, you've got to replace them. So you're spending money over and over and over again. If you have a roach problem, we've got all kinds of things here that you could buy for roaches, from tablets to bombs to sprays and you know things where you gotta leave the house, all kinds of stuff, but again, just for the roaches, and when you use them up, you've got to replace them, okay? The last okay. thing I wanna show you is this, and this is just a little bit of uh, the kind of things that you can get for rats and mice. Yes. Okay, because rats and mice are very destructive. The other ones may be disgusting, but they're very destructive. They will they will chew through, you know, electrical wires and they'll do all kinds of things. But we've got everything from like uh, poisons, like you see up here. This one looks exactly like one of my dog's favorite treats. I've actually seen my dog with one of those in its mouth. Really? The poison? Yes. Oh my because gosh. Because it was behind and under the stove. Yeah. But a mouse will drag it out. Right. And then your dog can find it. So no matter how careful you are, no. if you have kids or pets in the home, you do not want any well, of these. No, you don't and here's the thing I you know I I don't want the rats and mice in my house but I also don't want to kill them in the house this poison is very cruel it takes like a week to work and when it does when they do die they die inside your house somewhere so you're gonna have the smell that's yeah. gonna linger for like a month or so we've got sticky traps where they die of dehydration and starvation oh. it's very very cruel and then we've got the the old classic mouse trap and I want to ask you a question okay and this is for you and everybody at home okay All right? have you ever set a mouse trap because if you've never done it, there's a serious <laughs> trick to this. And this thing, listen to this. When this goes off, once you baited the, bait this and you, it goes off at night, you hear ah. that? I know, right? It makes you jump. But here's the thing. Yes. Now there's a, either you know a rat or a mouse or part of one that's stuck in this, oh. and somebody's got to get rid of it. It's you true had story. to go there, Luke. It's a true it story. But somebody's got to get rid of the carcass mm -hmm. and then rebate this trap, or do you just throw the whole thing away? So it's a lot of work to use these. When you have a Bell & Howell pest repeller, you plug this in, it starts working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You don't know that it's on, and there's nothing you ever have to do. There's no batteries to replace. There's no anything in here that you've ever got. I've had uh, the same set in my house for about seven years now. Wow. Seven you years. Don't ever have to replace a battery nothing. or anything like that. There's nothing you ever have to do with these. And you're getting eight. And you're getting eight. You're getting them. a set of eight, so right. this would cover, you put one in each room? What you, do you recommend? You put one in every room of the house, and I always tell people don't forget the attic, the basement, or the garage, okay? So just mm -hmm. count up the number of rooms that you have in your house, and that'll let you know how many you need. For most people, eight is going to be the sweet spot. That's going to be a good number for the bedrooms, for the bathroom, for the kitchen, the dining room, all those places. Um, um, because you want to make sure that you've got that crisscross of the sound waves. And here's the thing, they bounce off of any solid surface, and so that's why you have to have them in every room, because they're not going to penetrate doors. They're not going to go, see what I mean? Sure. Out into the hallways from the rooms themselves. Now, you notice the only way you know they're on is that little flashing red LED. And we don't, that doesn't even serve a purpose other than let you know that it's working, okay? Because since we can't hear them, mm -hmm. that's really the only way we can use these. But this has really changed people's lives. I mean, oh, yes. you're, you're seeing some of the reviews that have, that'll pop up. I mean, if you you've ever, ever had a spider crawl across your face in the middle of the night and you're like, what was that? Or if you've ever heard the skitter of little feet mm -hmm. in the kitchen and you know exactly what that sound is, I know it very well. I lived in New York City. <laughs> I lived in you know just about any place that you could expect to find those rats or those mice. Let me tell you, you're not going to sleep at night because you're going to try everything and you're going to be looking for them in every corner. You're going to flip on the light and be afraid of what you see in the morning. I never want that to happen to me again. I never want it to happen to you. So when you have something that you never have to clean, there's no fumes, there's no odors, there's no chemicals. As an animal lover, I just want them to go live somewhere else. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't want to see them dead in my home. Uh, there's a there's a lovely wilderness outside or yeah. or there's a, a parking lot or a playground that they can go, you know, have happy roach time, but I just don't want it in my apartment, right? Well, and you know, and that's a funny thing is that people who live in the is there city there's such a thing happy, no, happy, happy roach, roach time. time. As long as they're having happy roach time somewhere else, I'm good with this. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you know, people who live in cities and high-rise buildings think they're immune, but they're not. Oh, we, no. We you're know even... very well they can climb. Yes. And, and that might be the worst situation because you're surrounded by people who live all around you. And mm -hmm. who knows what these people are doing? You don't no. know. So you can only control the environment where you live. If you live in the country, I, you know, you pretty well can count on field mice and rats sure. and all those things trying to get into your house. I mean, that's a known fact. But I'm going to give you a good reason not to kill pests, okay? This is a great reason. Other than the poisons, and your kids and pets and all that. Female cockroaches, German cockroaches specifically, if you kill a female cockroach when she is bearing eggs, they carry them in sacks on their legs, okay? When you kill the female cockroach before she dies, she will jettison the egg sacks. Those eggs are still going to hatch, okay? So, no. yes. 
hundreds and hundreds of roaches will come forth from these eggs and you've killed the mother. It doesn't matter. You can't stop them. That's why you're better off repelling them, keeping them out, okay, than you are killing them once they're inside. Because let's face it, if you see one mouse, there's probably yes, 10. Yes, exactly. If you see one roach, there might be a couple of hundred. So, <laughs> right. you know, by the time you, if you see, see one them, ant, there are thousands. Many. Yeah. And, it's, and, and they're marching in a single file line. They are. The they're very organized. But you, but by that point, you've already got an infestation in your home. Oh, and notice something else. So, and I forgot about this, uh, Sarah. We did, If you looked at all the stuff we had on the table before, we had mm -hmm. things for ants and roaches and for the rats and the mice. There was nothing for spiders on the table. No. Nope. Because there's nothing you can do about spiders short of tenting your house, okay? So okay. The, our Bell and Hell pest repellers are effective against spiders. And I mean, I'm talking the venomous as well as the non-venomous varieties. Mm -hmm. You know, for some of us, we see a spider like, ugh, there's a spider. For other people, they see a spider, it's a whole different reaction. Right. There's a word for that. Yeah, arachnophobia. Yes. Yes. How about that? Yeah. Uh, there's, there's, there's been movies about those spiders. Yeah, there, there have. And it doesn't matter, you know, what we get the heebie-jeebies about. I just love the idea that you do this once and you're kind of done. I mean, think about how many times you've bought mouse traps, ant spray, roach yeah, bombs. bombs, or, yeah. you know, any of these fumes. You use them and you have to keep going over back to the hardware over. store. Yeah. Uh, the hardware store in my neighborhood uh, said, oh yeah, I know what you're here for. And I would go back <laughs> and I would buy those same traps yeah. or bombs or sticky things. And I would, you know, you're just, you're just you throwing that money down the drain. You could use this, plug them in. You're yeah. getting a set of eight. It's about $4 a piece. And you said you've had yours for years. Seven years. Mine, the same ones. And, and they just get better and better every year. Now, if you're going out and you're spending the money on this, I mean, it's it's true. You, they're going to work that time, but once they wear out, guess what? You've got to go get more, and the pests will come back. With the Bell and Hell pest repellers, once you set up that perimeter by plugging them in every room, they stay away. They don't come in, and if one does come in, they'll get annoyed by the sound and leave. Because that's really what we're doing, is we're using the sound to drive them away. It's disorienting to them, it's annoying to them, it's, and 